Now this isn't going to record very good because the sun is behind me, but I have to do it when I can do it. And uh, over the rainy Lollapalooza weekend, I had a leak go down into a cabinet and down into my bed. So I am up on the truck camper and <laughs> you can see the seat. Well, you can't see it because the hand's in the way. See that crack? Okay, I'm not going after looks, obviously. I'm going after protection. So, uh, that's, I got about half of it done I guess on both sides of that seam so and then let me show you over here this one of course I came over here and noticed and it's cracked pretty bad too so good morning I want to show you what I'm working on this morning I got back from Lola Palooza and as if you're watching any of the videos you know that it rained and I had a leak in the truck camper and it came in uh, over my bed through a cabinet and down onto the mattress so i thought i better check the mattress underneath truck campers are notorious for um getting moisture up underneath the mattress and guess what it happened you know i've never had to worry about that before because i've been in west texas and no moisture um, no humidity but being here in East Texas and um, being in the rain, Northeast Texas and being in the rain, uh, it produced a problem. So this is what I'm doing today. And if you look over there, I do have some uh, mold or mildew. So I am got the mattress lifted up and uh, I did some of this day before yesterday. So um, I'm just doing it again to verify because I've got a longer day when I started it. A couple of days ago, I started it at like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's about 8.30 this morning. So I'm going to let that air out all day. And there is a cover on this mattress. So I'm going to look at taking that cover off and and replacing it with another one and hopefully there's not any of that um, mildew on the mattress itself so but anyway today is kind of a maintenance day getting all these things to there's my bedding so but and also, let me show you another project I'm going to do. This is my bathroom, and I just mopped the floor um, with these. <laughs> uh, I wanted to do a really good mop and cleaning. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I've got a little separation here in the Oh, you can't say that word on YouTube because they <laughs> they demonetize you. So I will bleep that out and and it'll look all nice and clean. But today is just a major cleaning day. And that's what I'm working on today. Part of that leak problem that I had also caused an issue with some imported papers. So years ago, I created a to-go notebook that had all of my important papers that I could just grab it and go. Well, when I sold my house, I just grabbed it and I went. So, but I had it in this case over here and 
and it's a zipper case and all my papers got wet from that leak so I am just kind of drying them out and I'm gonna just have to do a few at a time and then drying out that case too but that's what that leak did <laughs> anyway um so that's kind of what i'm doing today it's gonna be a beautiful day it's gonna be about 79 or 80 degrees so it's a perfect day to do this some of it is gonna go away i'm gonna scan it i have a scanner but look at that drying system <laughs> I do have a scanner on board and I'm gonna scan some of them and then build me a little fire and destroy the documents. Since we're not under a burn ban anymore. Okay, I got a catfish on this rod and I've been fighting this thing for about 15-20 minutes now because he's, he's swimming up into these rocks and then I act like I'm hung, I let my line out, he takes off swimming with it. This one I think is a huge fish. I just want to bring it in just to see how big it is. But not even sure that this line is gonna be able to do it. I just grabbed this rod and already caught a 18 inch channel cat. So I'm trying to bring this one in, but don't know that it's gonna happen. Well, that fish one finally broke my line. So if that sucker was big. I would have probably thrown him back anyway because he's, I don't know how big he was. Anyway, I'm back out there waiting for the next one. Already caught one, keeper. What's all the racket? What's all the racket, little catfish? Oh, big catfish. Yeah, that's my catch so far today. Nice channel cat. fishing and all the wildlife are out got some deer over there the fish are flouncing they're just not getting on my hook this evening but man it is a beautiful night it got to be 80 degrees today in November it's beautiful just enjoying the the lake and the deer. It's so cool. 